who here just felt an urge to check their phone? I know I would have, but imagine a world without that. To wake up with no phone, no tablet. What would that look like? No more FaceTime, no more endless hours scrolling through Facebook posts. Mobile technology has dominated our lives. It's hard to think of life before phones because we've grown just so accustomed to using them. Choose to reject it or accept it, they will surround you in today's society. But why? Why are we so attached to this mobile tech, to social media? Is it entertainment, perhaps? Or is it because of um, it's an easy way to escape reality? None of the above. It's because of our need for connection. We, as human beings, are programmed for human connection. It's in our DNA. It's natural to feel need to belong, to relate with others, and to be accepted. As Professor Brown at the University of Houston stated, a deep sense of love and belonging is an irresistible need of all people. We are biologically, cognitively, physically, and spiritually wired to love, to be loved, and to, be, and to belong. What social media and mobile tech are doing for us is extending the sense of belonging. In a way, mobile connectivity is becoming quite, if not almost, as important as face-to-face -face connectivity. Think, what is in your pockets right now? It's your phone, isn't it? Life without mobile phones would almost, just almost, be like living under a rock. And I, myself, had a chance to live under this rock. I grew up in rural Malaysia, where many people did not have access to mobile devices. This includes the basics of mobile phones, laptops, and tablets. Then, I moved to more technolo technologically developed country. Here, China. As a kid, all of my classmates had their own mobile device. Everyone had one, except me. I had no way to connect with friends other than school. I was left out when they talked about the newest games or apps. About school projects, they could just call each other after school. Even one of my best friends ditched me to go talk about Minecraft. Yes, Kathy, I still remember that. <laughs> and it was at that time, at the ripe old age of seven, that I realized the true importance of mobile technology. Look around, subways, shopping malls, it's clear to see how common this technology has become. Five billion people, five billion people have access to a mobile phone. Now, five billion is a hard number to imagine. It's almost impossible for the human brain to comprehend such a large number. So let's just imagine that these are five people people. This is 500 people. This is 5,000 people. This is 5 million people. And that is 5 billion people. That is more than the entire population of Asia. 5 billion was the population of the entire world in 1987. These 5 billion people are able to use mobile tech to do things that used to be impossible. When disaster hits, these 5 billion people have the critical ability to call for help. Of course, there's education. It's easy to access with online textbooks and classrooms just waiting to be used. But most importantly, when we are in need of comfort, we can reach out to friends and family hundreds of kilometers away. With the power of FaceTiming, texting, and calling on our side, we can reach out to others no matter the distance between. Now, I'm sure most of you are extremely familiar with these functions. So am I. I use social media all the time to talk to my cousin Lisa back home in Malaysia. It allows me to have a conversation with her no matter where we are. Now, there was a time when my family didn't know about social media. It was a dark time. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually had to write letters. Then, the invention of WeChat took our world by storm. In no time, 
my grandmother had figured out a way to FaceTime me in China. My aunt even figured out a way to set up an online business, and soon her perception of social media had changed drastically. And just like that, my family had stepped into the world of digital connectivity. Now, mobile technology isn't just a new medium anymore. It's a complete and global, utter cultural shift. This shift in thinking is the key to propelling the human race to further reaches. In a way, it's our next step in evolution. So embrace the uses of social media. Support others, learn new things, and engage in new conversations. I know what they say. Professors, scientists, they urge us to stop using our screens. They say they disconnect us, rip us away from society. But that is not my experience. Throughout my life, mobile devices have been nothing but a gift. A gift that allows me to grow closer to my peers. And to me right now, as a 14-year-old, it brings me infinite possibilities. So I want to ask you, don't take digital connectivity for granted, especially in our com community, where our friends and family may not be beside us all the time. So next time you feel a need for connection, know that there is nothing holding you back. Message a friend whom you hadn't heard from for a while. If your family is overseas, invite them to a call. Anyone can do it, because now all it takes for you is the press of a button to brighten up someone's day. Thank you.